Fellas, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're bringing back the booster battles. As the release of OP08 starts winding down a little bit, what better time to see in terms of value what is better right now? Will it be the new, the current two legends? Or will the not so recent but still relevant 500 years into the future come through? This is going to be a head to head between both sets. And the way this is going to work is we're going to see the value for each of the super rares and alternate arts that we can get in each box. And based on those cards, since they tend to be usually the most expensive one of these sets will end up being crowned the top set and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel please make sure to hit that subscribe button it helps the channel out so much okay we're just about ready one more thing before we get started this will end up being a two-part series and so we're going to be opening the left side of each of these for this video and for the next video we'll be opening the right side enough yapping let's get opening fellas starting off with op07 right now both of these sets are actually pretty cheap right now both op07 and op08 are looking pretty good in terms of pricing i haven't seen sets be at around market price or even below it in a long time we have both a Hancock, which means a regular nothing pack. But we do have Demonic Aura, Nine Sword Style, Asura Demon, Nine Flash, and Kaku. Very regular rares. No value there from OP07. Will OP08 start the same? Will it be a leader pack or will we kick off straight up with something better? But yeah, like I was saying, I think both OP07 and OP08 are a super good price. So this, this definitely does come at a time where you should be investing in some of these, in my opinion. Definitely not something you should shy from and there we go with another leader <laughs> it seems op08 wanted to match op07 we have king nice the rare zo which is actually the first uh stage card i believe that it comes out as a rare pretty good looking and then a sasaki second pack left side 500 years into the future what do you have for us Papag, Blue Jam, Fuza, Whoop, Edison, Koribo, Island of Women, Megaton, Nine Tails, Rush, Egghead, Zoro, Captain John, Microsoft Outlook number three, let's go. And Fish Tiger, okay. Once more, a whole lot of nothing from OP07. The left side is not looking good so far. Let's see, OP08. I think I see a little something there. Might be potentially the Dawn Pack or an alternate art that has like a black border, which I don't think many of those do. Is there like a Blackbeard card in here? I don't think so. Bro, no. <laughs> it's another leader pack. Okay, interesting. We have Carrot, Portgas the Ace, Cloven Rose, and yes, sir, the Dawn. Okay, so interesting. Does that mean that the Dawn comes in one of the leader packs? Would that be right? I'd imagine that that is right. And if that's not the case, if you can get the Dawn in a non-leader pack, does that mean you can also get like a super rare or an alternate in the same pack? No idea. We had that Jamaican stuff. Faceless man. Faceless man number two. Edison. Also faceless, but not a man. Here's Aladdin with no rug. Punk Records. Hurt Sanji. Hamburger. Oh, skipped one. Okay, but there you go. Rob Lucci. Yet another leader. Bro, is that is that like two leaders out of like three or four packs from OP07? That's insane. At least we're getting them out of the way. And it's a double Lucci pack the leader and a rare already repeated microsoft outlook number three bruh or i guess it's more so like outlook the third right why number three okay opo three packs what's new what's in here shishilian pero spero saber walmart moby dick baron tamago you can't take our king this early in the game those titles are like a chess game atmos katakuri marco another leader pack okay that's at the very least five leaders already isn't it or maybe four that's crazy noland and Dr. Kureha. I guess to start off the video, it's not a bad thing to get so far. At least we know we're getting some of those dull packs out of the way. And so that means that much later on, we're going to get hit after hit after hit, fellas. Shaka, Itomizu, and you're joking. Foxy, bro, the amount of leaders. Should we be counting these? I'm actually going to put up a counter up Ooh. on screen because this is insane. Perfume from her, Monkey T. Luffy. Oh, and the Dawn. All right, so confirmed. That is two Dawn in two leader packs. One from OP08 and one from OP07. All right, fellas, the anticipation is building up. OP08, come on. Give us a little something more. Make it at least a super rare. That'd be amazing. Speed Jill. Chess. Hamlet. Angel. Peckhams. Heliceraptor. What? Heliceratops. Ulti. Munch Munch Mutation. You're joking. Is this a joke, fellas? Ooh. Another leader pack. Charlotte Pudding. Dr. Herolek. And Jozu. Fellas, I wish I could tell you that I organized these packs so that we could get some of the worst ones out of the way. But no, I did not. <laughs> this is just exactly how we're getting everything off the rip. Gizmonda. Pinky and Brain. No Face. Damn. 
Waifu Khalifa, Big Man Punch, Anthony Chopper, Sandersonia, Granny, Kuma Card, Do Flamingo, Kaku, and oh, finally, something different. <laughs> we have Monkey D Dragon. First super rare, fellas. Let's go. About time, honestly. Rush character, that's actually kind of insane. 8 9. So, OPO 7 is the first one to put some numbers on the board. And had I said that it was gonna be OPO 8, I might tweak it. But we have the first waifu, right? Out of OPO 8, I think. A Philandra, a stillborn chicken. D Damn, Tristan. Cracker, Namio, Uro Marimo, Sweet Pea, Jim B, Weevil, It's to Die For. Hey, yo, what's around your mouth there, Big Mom? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Conquest of the Sea. And, oh, Anthony Chopper, super rare. Not bad. I think this card is actually getting used in like a Zoro deck. I've seen that some of the decks that people are building right now are with Leader Zoro, the one from OP01. It's called like a furry deck or something like that, where it's just cards like Chopper and a couple of the other like animal cards. So if a furry deck is your thing, that is the one for you, fellas. It's actually not even that bad. I think there's a lot of like blocker capability with the rush, cap a couple of rush, and then obviously with the extra 1000 that the Zoro leader gives you it's insane and another fucking leader pack bro no way <laughs> all right sengoku and karina fellas if i were to draw a conclusion as of right now if you go down to your local store and they have packs for sale never ask for the ones on the left always go for the right fellas it's what it's all about pervert doctor zebra pecoms fully hatched egg into a man king do charlotte oven consulat wiper charlotte pudding is there something else in the back? No, <laughs> I'm tripping. I don't know why. I thought I could see something else. But let's, I think we're about halfway through the left side of the box. We've seen more le more leaders than hits. But can we change that? Throw Go Gecko Moria. Scratchman Apu. Probably one of the worst characters in One Piece. Apu. Bucken. I requaser your help. Morgans. Snake Dance. Keep out. Crocodile. Mr. Tanaka with the misprint still. Okay, nice. Marguerite. And oh, an alternate art. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Portia. Fun fact. I don't even have the regular rare for this card. <laughs> Can you believe it? Oh, wow. Okay, nice. Portia coming through. I think she gets a lot of play in the Reiju decks. They're quite popular right now. So I'm hoping that this card is going to be a little bit of something. We'll put her in the back. First OP07 treasure from this opening. Okay, OP07 finally decided to show us something. So you can't fall behind now, OP08. Give us at least one of the potential three hits from the box. Drum Kingdom. Hamlet with one of the worst design cards, in my opinion. Spigil, looking straight out of the 1850s. Some horror game character, Maria Onion Bear. People's dreams don't ever end. Kalgara, Sweet Pea, Garchu, Sheep's Head, King, and oh, a super rare. Let's go, Edward Newgate. Okay, not bad. Honestly, for the collection, we'll take these. I'm pretty sure that that Edward Newgate card is meant to be used with the Marco leader. Is it that any good though? Like, I haven't seen many decks with it. Is it one that gets used? I think there might be a couple of other like 10 cost characters or like around the 9 cost that are much better used in those decks. I can think of that dragon rush that we just fooled. I mean, at 9 cost, that's just insane value. Okay, and yet another leader pack. I do honestly hope that we can end those leader packs, please. If it can all be done right here, right now. And <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but look, <laughs> there's another leader there. I think we can do a quick one and skip to the back three. It is a new leader though. Chopper, Anthony Chopper, who's who? And Nolan. I think that also Netflix just revealed a little bit of the Chopper and how he's gonna look in the live action. Honestly, it's not much. It's kind of like a shot from the back. I'll see if I can put it up on screen. But I'm definitely hoping that they checked so that it's not a Sonic the Hedgehog situation like it was for that movie, which was incredibly cringe. Oh, what? Chill, hold on. <laughs> Foxy. Is this going to be a Pirate Foxy box? That's kind of insane. This is not looking good for us, fellas. In our search for the mangas, this is not a good look. Not only that, but I don't think this card adds much value. OP08 has not been able to put anything forward in terms of like alternate art so far. But I mean, that Foxy cannot be too hard to compete with. I'd imagine that even the Edward Newgate. I don't know, fellas, should we commit from the OP07 side and just say, okay, give me the full Foxy Pirates box? Meaning that we'll take that alternate art leader as well. That'd be insane. And S-Hawk, S-Hawk, W-C-N-D-A-S-H-O-C. 
three more packs for OPO7. We already have two alternate arts out of the three that you can get in a box. Will we get a third? Sure hope so. But not only that, can we make it the manga? It has to be done, fellas. Galaxy Wing and Blaze Slice. Okay, not bad. So you know what I said about uh, if you go to your locals, just don't get anything from your left side. Joke's on you, fellas. Maybe you should. <laughs> now that we've seen two out of the three alternate arts in the box, and actually pretty consecutively, if I'm honest, might be worth going for that left side. All I'm hearing is if you're gonna buy packs, might as well buy at the very least three so you can try and get multiple hits. Page one. Oh, no shot. Kaido, the first alternate art to come from two legends. Let's go. And this art is just insane looking. I actually also have this card in Japanese and it's just crazy to look at. The hockey effect with the foiling is just next level as well. Alright, in terms of alternate arts, we now have 2 to 1 and in terms of value, you're gonna have to let me know. I'm sure that it's been up on screen now. I'd imagine that OP07, it's still very much up. That Porsche has to hold a lot of value right now with those Rage decks. People like to bling out their cards, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're running 4 of those Porsches. Pretty good, honestly. I'd do the same if I could afford it. Marguerite and Baccarat, okay. That's what we call a double waifu pack. All right, but OP08, are you going to show us another alternate before we break? This is the second to last pack for OP08. So we're hoping for something big. What will we get? Roddy, X Drake, Phoenix Brand, Shashark, my boy Jim B, Wapol, and in the back, <gasps> Jewelry Bonnie. Okay, let's go. Finally, another super rare. We had been definitely missing some of these. I think this is an awesome card to put in yellow decks. Dawn X1, your turn once per turn when a card is removed from your opponent's life cards. Draw two cards and trash one. Okay, that's actually kind of crazy. Trigger, draw two cards, trash one from your hand. This might have to go into the deck, fellas. We still want to play that Yamato leader, so hey, Jewelry Bonnie. Welcome to the club. Last pack for 500 years into the future. What will we see? Will it be a super? Will it be another alternate art? Will it be another leader? <laughs> I wouldn't even be surprised, fellas, if that's what we end up getting. Anthony Chopper, Sander Sonia, Koribo, Tanaka, Zoro, Porgas the Ace, and Foxy, the regular Foxy. Definitely, as far as art goes, we have to take the alternate art. This card is trash. And the last pack for OPOA. Come on, alternate art leader. No, but can it be an alternate art card though? Starting off strong with Tristan, a thousand doctors, Bucken, Charlotte Poix, bruh, <laughs> Bazooka, Candy Maiden, Hawkins. Hiking Bear, Southbird, Imperial Flame, and Shakuyaku. Okay, not a bad pack. Not too bad of a way to end it. It was not a super rare or an alternate, but we'll take those. Fellas, make sure to stay subscribed so that you can get the part two. We'll be posting that out right after this video. Hopefully not too far away. I'm thinking maybe in about a week or maybe by Friday. And while you wait for part two, why not check out this video that's coming up on screen? Do you want to know what the top 10 cards in One Piece are? But if not, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.